Hey everybody, it's Shovel. Uh, welcome to my first tutorial video. This is my first one, so full disclosure, it's probably going to be a little rough. <clears throat> and I'm just now trying to figure out my microphone setup and everything, so audio might not be perfect. But hopefully this turns into something that you guys find useful and maybe you want more of. I've been getting a lot of uh, requests for tutorials on my builds, at least from a lot of people on Instagram, and I think that it's a good way to grow. But I don't really want to start off with a block for block tutorial on a house or a build. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is show you guys some of my strategies with world edit and how I do some of the things that are a little bit more unique to me. And I think that that'll be useful. And if you don't have mods for World Edit or Archeon or Voxel Sniper, that's totally fine. You can totally just go onto a server and those plugins are already installed for you. So you don't even have to mess around with that kind of stuff. So um, do your research and try and find a builder server with those assets. And then we can kind of work together on this and maybe you can learn something. So full disclosure, I learned pretty much 95% of what I know about World Edit from Meg Ray's tutorials. And uh, this is going to be a very simplified version of that. This is for basically very, um, very early beginners who have never done World Edit before. I want you to have no experience and watch my videos and be able to do some basic stuff. So. I'm not going to go through selections on this first video, but what I am going to do is show you how to do some brushes because I think that you can find a lot of selection and copy paste tutorials on there and that's already been done, but I don't think as much brush work has been done and that's one of my favorite things. So I am going to show you some stuff. So the main command that you're going to be using when creating a brush is this one right here. And it might look a little complicated, but I'll break it down for you. So you've only got four factors when you're putting in this command and one doesn't even change. So slash slash BR dictates to world edit that you are creating a brush that whatever you have holding in your hand right now is going to become this brush. And then the second factor is the brush shape. So this can be interchangeable to cylinder or even clipboard. There's a bunch of different brushes, but my main go-to, especially with painting, is sphere. The third factor is your material. In this case, is diamond block. You don't even have to write diamond block if you want to write out all of the block IDs. Then you can do that. In this case, for diamond block, it would be 57. I don't personally write them all out because I haven't memorized them but you can kind of tab your way through on the command menu. And the last factor is going to be the brush radius. And it's important to note that three is a radius, not a width. So if I put three in here, the actual width is going to be seven, uh, roughly, because there's going to be a center block and then three blocks on each side of it. Okay, so here we are back in game and let's try that command that I showed you on the slides. So if you look down at the bottom of the screen, I'm just putting in this command. So slash slash BR sphere diamond block three. And now that I have this shovel in my hand and I put this command in, this is now a brush. And if I just right click with it, boom, you've got a ball that is one, two, three wide. And that's what that three was when we put in the command. And obviously it's going to be actually seven wide, but that's because the value that we put in was a radius. So this is the center point, one, two, three. And now you can kind of see in here. Um, that the center point was where my cursor was when it clicked and then it kind of went down into the ground right so if I just undo this um, we can mitigate that 
by doing mask zero while holding this brush. And what that does is I right click, oh, there we go, must have double clicked there. And then now that this is here, but look, so what that did was just mask. So the only thing that my brush can apply to is this material and zero is just the um, ID for air, but you could also just do mask air if you wanted. And, but I'm gonna undo this and show you how you can also uh, mask on an op like another type of block. So you can kind of see in a lot of my videos how I will have filler blocks. That's kind of what I would call them. And it's, I'm basically creating a canvas and then I paint it and texture it uh, with brushes afterwards. So if I just do, uh, let's go over here just to this white. So if I just do mask white wool, or you could just do white if you wanted, but I'm just trying to make this longhand so that you guys can kind of understand. Now, look at that. Only pastes on the white wool. Pretty nifty, right? And I can also change this material. So say I wanted it to be an emerald block instead, and it's still masked to this white wool, so it'll still only paste on this white wool, yeah? And that, look at that, pretty cool. That's pretty much the video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. It's kind of uh, a little nerve wracking, but mainly fun for me to learn how to do this kind of stuff. And hopefully it is useful for you, uh, new world editors or people who've been using world edit for a while. and just want to learn some new tricks so hopefully i see this in some builds and let me know if you want to see something else and i'll probably keep on continuing with time lapses just because it's pretty simple for me to do right now but i do want to do this more and hopefully the video quality keeps on improving um, that's kind of what i'm shooting for um, yeah so if you enjoyed it uh, I would really appreciate a follow and a like and comments. I just want to talk to you guys and see how you're doing and how you're liking it. So that is that for today. Have a good day, everybody.